Hello from the Down and Kill Depression. My name is Bjorn, and with me is Salaika here. Yes, nice from, to meet you all. Uh, Arho Tours. Arho Tours. And uh, we've been driving, actually, we started at 8.30 this morning, drove for around five hours to get to the lunch place. Yes. Since there, since there, it's been pretty, pretty dry, pretty, pretty hot. Yes. I even had a nose bit coming down here. It's the lowest and the driest and one of the hottest places on earth. And the landscape is just like another planet. Yes. Um, That's why we call it the other planet. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the other planet. It's like the, the other landscape planet. landscape is lunar. Yeah. Yes. We're going to be sleeping here. We're going to be driving around, seeing a lot of places. And uh, yeah, you've been here a few times before? A lot of times. I can't count it, my friend. Oh, wow. And then here I am with my best friend, Bjorn. <laughs> From now on, we'll show you these best places with him. Yeah. Yes. We got around 36 to 38 degrees, I guess. Hot winds. It's like uh, being in an air dryer, in a way. And apparently in the summers it gets to more than 50 degrees here, so it's, uh, it's deadly, it's hardly any life around. Uh, almost not possible to live here. Yeah, very important. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. Dust everywhere. And this is our first stop, really. Today has been a full day of driving. But the landscape has been, has been changing so much. And now we're in a salt desert. With the sun setting behind us. Wow. What do you think? Good. Yeah? Crazy. Wow. What a sunset. What a place. What a guy. What a girl. Oh, we're basically just walking in salt water. Picture. Actually, it's a video. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled you. Oh, this is nice. Salt is cracking. Ice. Yes, it's like ice. Uh, Breaking the ice. Leave your luggage here. We're just walking for a bit. I think maybe this truck is blocking the road. Like maybe it fell through the the ice, no the salt. What do you call it? All the lights. All yeah. the lights. They are mining. They're mining and then salt. they start mining when the sun sets. Because of the heat in the because daytime. Because of the heat, yeah. So they work until 3 a.m. Some oh. until uh, midnight. Wow. And they go back, they sleep the whole day, they start chewing, and then later at night also they come. Oh wow. Yes. To cut it, they follow these patterns. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, One party, the whole, how many kilos? Uh, no, it's big, it's big, it's big. You see this cut? This? Yeah. 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 So they cut out these octograms here. This is more than 7 kilograms. Wow. So imagine how big this is. Look how, how they do. Yo, this is a Wow, it's a lot of cutters. You have. Yeah. And one here, they sell it 30 birds. One tube. 30 bear, like, like, like 40 cents? Uh, 60 cents. Yeah, 60 cents. Yeah. For one cube like this, which is huge. Yeah, 
And with such simple tools. A lot of manpower. A lot of hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard work. So they work oh. in groups. Oh, they manage. They manage. So it's not in the How strong you are. How many group you, how many people you have, that matters. I'm cooking it. Get it no, no, it's not getting a party. 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 It's collecting it. So basically the people, <clears throat> people are working here all night and uh, taking shifts who get to go. It's definitely too hot to do it at uh, daytime. So at the break of dawn, I'm sure all of these hundreds of people will be gone. And then by the evening, they're coming back. Sorry, Bo! Oi, sorry. That was very bright. <laughs> Yeah, so we have a cook. What are we cooking tonight? Spaghetti. Spaghetti, nice. Oh, thank you. It's a lot of sauce. I'm happy. Get it there. It's enough for you. It was really good. Yeah, it's good. It's enough for you. Yeah, that's how we're gonna sleep for another six hours. So we're waking up at four thirty. Tomorrow to start the day. Just the lowest point in this trip and that's also going to be the hottest place so that's one of the reasons why we're going so early in the morning even before the sun has risen but also because this, the the colors are going to be the best at that time apparently right yes i hope so <laughs> whoa you're going straight through the floor here watch out it's going to break under you So we started walking at 5.30 and was told that the sun will rise at 6 and now it's a little over 6. You can see it's already red in the horizon and we're almost there at Dalol which is right on the border of Eritrea. Not easy going here with crutches. <laughs> it's really, really, really strange landscape. It's like this oh, crust that you're breaking, like stepping on ice or glass of some kind. And it smells like sulfur everywhere. Whew. This is... Before the fall. Before the fall. You need to watch. Sunrise? You can put it here. Yeah, of course. First, watch. Come, come, that's the right place to understand the color change. Yeah. yeah. Now it's 6 ton. <clears throat> sun is finally coming up and the colors are actually changing. This went from uh, neon yellow so to more of a green now. Don't, don't trust it because it's liquid and burning, it's acid. Yeah. So the, don't go inside. Oh. Just watching and wondering. Walk uh, on the yeah, the brown, yeah, on the firm ones. So, who do you think is the chemist behind this? God, nice. because as we know, in a chemistry lab, if a chemical reaction is not controlled, it changes into chaos. True, true, true. So, there should be a controller, a chemist. On the little stone, look it under your feet. Hello, inside. This is who's who's. Wow. 
Wow. Mine. Then we go another good place. Let me show you. Okay. This is a land to stop. There's more of them there. Look at this. Wow. It's crazy. And they're moving. Next month it might be somewhere else. Italians built it eight years ago, nine years, oh. and it's abandoned now. Okay. Yeah, because they were mining potash from here. Oh. Oh. This is such a mind-blowing place. Really. I mean, I've been to every country in the world. Never have I seen something like this. It's like Pamukkale mixed with Lacassal. But not quite. It's more like a different planet. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> this is amazing. Like the best place I've ever been in my life. There's bubbles of water coming out. Yeah. It's in the hot, I feel. Yeah, it's hot. It's gonna get so hot in a couple hours. Oh, this place is really incredible. It's just something totally different than anywhere else. There's also bubbling. It looks really radioactive. So this was apparently one of the lowest places on earth. What's the lowest one? How much is the Dead Sea? Minus 413. So it's just 300 meters away from Dead Sea, lowest so point on Earth. So this is like the seventh lowest in the world and the second lowest in Africa. The first is very close, a neighboring country, Djibouti. It's minus La 100. La Casal, yeah. We are driving up the mountains, lava hills. This is all lava rock, right? Oh, we have been driving now for three hours since lunch break through a landscape like this. Actually, it's been changing quite a lot, um, but mostly it's been volcanic, lava, and just empty, really. So, um, I'm sure there's lots to see here, but it's quite big distances between everything. So that's the salt lake. Yeah, that's the salt lake. He has a tattoo here. What is this? <laughs> this kid is chewing cat. Oh, how do you hand? <laughs> this guy has really sharp teeth. No, no, photo, photo, no. Oh, no? Okay. I was told that the uh, stripes... Yeah, yeah I hear it. I was, yeah, I was told that the stripes are from the clams. <laughs> so he has three stripes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you look at this more kid, he's chewing cut here. <laughs> and the teeth of them are cut when they're young. When they're children. They cut sharp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this area here, it's one of the harshest environments really to grow up in. Okay. To find food and water here must be nearly impossible. So uh, we saw some trucks coming with the uh, aid, which uh, probably is heading to the Tigrini region, which is kind of problematic. And that's also why we couldn't start from Mekele, uh, where the tours normally go, and we had to go through Sumer. Yeah, so we'll continue the tour. Uh, these kids just wanted some pens from us and say hi. Mira. Mira? Here. Mira. So we gave them some school books and pens, exactly what they wanted. Pretty nice that they're not asking for money, just for things that are needed, like school books. Right? No. Yeah. So 
half hour so to the next stop. The next stop, uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Then we'll have a small African ship swimming pool full of sand so you can float. Nice. That's a big place. Yeah, so that's yeah, it's a very good place. So this is the Nike depression, minus 125. Yeah, we should do this again. Yes. Wow. This even like looks like you can swim under the yeah. ground. What's our next stop, Sulaika? The cave, the then cave. Uh, breakfast. Nice. Under the cave, we have a breakfast and then we enjoy the cave. System inside, we discover. Sweet. And then we drive back and swim. Nice. So they call this place the caves? Probably because of the caves. <laughs> but there's also lots of uh, spe special rock formations with uh, Poder. Yeah, poder. different minerals. It means fuck. And fodder. Ah, fodder. To be able to. The calcium carbonate. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a material that you use for uh, production of cement. Okay, but, it, but it becomes like this because it's pressuring down all the time? Yes. Load. Yeah, yeah. Shashi blown, yeah. Mm. So if you, you put more on top of that in, and then it in goes, like yeah. thousands of years, yes. it, uh, it will become like stone. Yes. This here must be the crater rim of the volcano. It's just half an hour easy. But then we have to go down further to see. dark here. Let me see. Red color. Now that the sun is down you can see a lot more of the fire. It's crazy. Bye bye after all. Last night there was so much wind here. It got so cold that we got barely got to sleep. So even though this trip is just incredible, uh, I'm really really looking forward to getting back to civilization, having a hot shower, and some good night's sleep in a nice soft bed. <laughs> so we need to have a security guide to go with this this place and. Uh, Says we can shoot the bullet for like three dollars each. And he's on his like sixth bullet now. Learning how to shoot. Look, watch, watch with this. Wow, that's loud. That is the end of our trip. We're actually continuing somewhere else. So I'll see you in the next okay. It's so funny how you.